According to the UN World Urbanization Prospects, more than 50% of the world's population lives in urban areas. Asian cities are populated by 25% of the world population, or approximately half the world's urban population. It is predicted that by 2050, 70% of the world population will live in urban areas, and that poverty will shift from rural to urban cities. Therefore, it is projected that there will be an increase in urban unemployment in the future. What happens in rural Asia that leads to urbanization? Before we examine further on urbanization, based on data from the World Economic Forum, 42% of the global population are aged below 25, and in South Asia, this number is increasing constantly. The IFAD stated that on average, about 53% of the total of unemployed people are youth. The youth are three times more likely to be unemployed than adults, with an unemployment rate of 12.5%, according to the ILO. This is in line with data from Grayob et al. on their paper titled, The State of Family Farm in the World, that shows 53% of the world's food is produced by family farms in rural areas with an average age of 50 years old for these farmers. This data gives significant meaning in the Asian region because the food sector in this region absorbs up to 46% of Asia's workforce. In relation to that, according to Paul Bennell, a youth and employment researcher in 2007, rural youth underemployment is closely linked with high rates of landlessness. That being said, it's ironic that in a sub-region where 60% of the world's youth population live, like the Asia-Pacific, the land dispute due to Regional Economic Integration Plan in Southeast Asia is 27% higher than the global number, that is 88% to 61%, says a recent research from TMP Systems and the Rights and Research Institute in 2017. It's worth noting that apart from economic value, land is meaningful for the youth for creation or recreations and socialization with their peers, which provides spaces for knowledge and skill exchanges to happen. The youth are the dominant group who use land for these functions. The knowledge and skill exchanges links with what Benel says that providing quality schooling is all important in equipping young people for a productive future. Therefore, landlessness is not only a cause of underemployment, if not unemployment, it also contradicts the main idea of economic increase because the human resources plausibly dominated by de skilled youth who comes from rural areas are a result of landlessness. The Youth and Land Initiative is highlighting the need to provide rural youth with access to land to secure our future. While the younger generation is investing their youth in education, their parents have to work extensively in the agricultural sector in order to provide. This vicious cycle has caused the detachment of the young urban generation from their most promising source of livelihood, the land-based sector. What makes it worse is the quality of education provided in rural areas cannot compete with the urban standard most of the time. This has been the main cause of underemployment of rural youth after moving to urban areas. To break this vicious cycle, access to land for rural youth needs to be secured. Further incentives like access to contextual knowledge, information, education, and technology must also be provided. Opening a space for youth involvement in policy dialogues at the local level is probably the most important challenge. It is in these dialogues, insights from the youth can really be captured to be addressed. Last but not least, financial services and access to the market is vital in raising the confidence of the rural youth to culture their land.